Brilliant. Uh, welcome. And uh, it's very, very good to go live. I hope you can see me properly and that uh, you can hear me properly and that we'll be able to enjoy evening prayer together this evening. Today, we remember Janani Luwum. Uh, he is one of the most recent of martyrs that we remember. He was Archbishop of Uganda and he was martyred during the appalling reign of Idi Amin in Uganda. There were many difficult and often violent dictators in the post-colonial period in Africa, uh, of whom Idi Amin is perhaps one of the most notorious, certainly in the English-speaking parts of Africa. And Janani Luwum uh, continued to criticize the way in which people kept disappearing with a lot of political murders uh, that took place until he himself became one of those victims. So we remember his courage and we remember that sometimes it is better to stand up against evil and lose in this life in order to gain in the next. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 62. On God alone my soul in stillness waits. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall never be shaken. How long will all of you assail me to destroy me as you would a tottering wall or a leaning fence? They plot only to thrust me down from my place of honour. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their mouth, but in their heart they curse. Wait on God alone in stillness, O my soul, for in him is my hope. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold so that I shall not be shaken. And God is my strength and my glory. God is my strong rock, in him is my refuge. Put your trust in him always, my people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. The peoples are but a breath, the whole human race a deceit. On the scales they are altogether lighter than air. Put no trust in oppression, in robbery take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God spoke once, and twice have I heard the same. The power belongs to God. Steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to their deeds. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. If you're following the Old Testament readings, you've got 2 Chronicles chapter 6, verses 1 to 21. But we're going to be reading John chapter 18, beginning at the first verse. After Jesus had spoken these words, he went out with his disciples across the Kidron Valley to a place where there was a garden, which he and his disciples entered. Now, Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place because Jesus often met there with his disciples. So Judas brought a detachment of soldiers together with the police from the chief priests and the Pharisees, and they came there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that was to happen to him, came forward and asked them, For whom are you looking? They answered, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus replied, I am he. 
Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. When Jesus said to them, I am he, they stepped back and fell to the ground. And he asked them, for whom are you looking? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. So if you're looking for me, let these men go. This was to fulfill the word that he had spoken. I did not lose a single one of those whom you gave me. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's ear, slave cutting off his right ear. The slave's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, put your sword back into its sheath. Am I not to drink the cup that the Father has given me? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name. You are mine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Those who gave up their lives for Christ and followed in the way, rejoice with God now and forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saint. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He's come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made uh, to our, sorry, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Those who gave up their lives for Christ and followed in the way, rejoice with God now and forever. So as we come to prayer, we pray that there might be blessing upon the church in dealing with all the challenges of being in areas of conflict. We recognize that Christians actually can get the worst of it when there is the lawlessness of civil strife. We pray the Lord's blessing and protection uh, for those Christians who are there right now in areas of conflict in Libya and Yemen, uh, across the Sahel, the Southern Saharan area, where there's a lot of Islamic terrorism in Northern Nigeria, uh, where Christians have borne the brunt of some really nasty attacks. We bring before the Lord the church in Ukraine. We lift before the Lord those Christians who are there um, in Afghanistan right now, amidst that humanitarian crisis in the country run by the Taliban. We bring before the Lord the challenge facing his church across many countries in the world where persecution is quite significant, where to convert to Christianity is illegal. And we remember before the Lord his love and mercy that he really does want to pour out across the nations so that people might be blessed. And we recognize that there are many countries that would like to make Christianity a curse. And we pray for the blessing and protection of believers. We pray that the Lord will find ways, despite everything, to raise up more believers and to build his church. We know that for God, nothing is impossible. And therefore we look to him. And we remember before the Lord today that 
there have been many, many more since Junani Luo who have died for their faith. Lord Jesus Christ, we recognize that there are many, many believers who have chosen to sacrifice much of all the blessings and benefits they could have had in this life for the sake of Jesus. Thank you for their witness. Thank you for their sacrifice. Grant them grace to know your joy and presence, to know your love and consolation, and the constant empowering to share that love in the midst of suffering. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of truth, his servant Janani Lewin walked in the light and in his death defied the powers of darkness. Free us from fear of those who kill the body, that we too may walk as children of light through him who overcame darkness by the power of the cross. Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Need us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's been very good to be with you this evening. Uh, and I'll be with you tomorrow, and I'll be back on Saturday.